For those who ask, why do Shia do Tatbir and Zinjil? Some Shia practice bloodletting on the days of mourning for Ahl al-Bayt which involves the striking of the head with a sword, known as Tatbir, or striking the back with blades, known as Zinjil. This is a controversial topic that divides the believers with some being in favor of it and others being completely against it. Amongst the evidence given for rudletting include a narration concerning Lady Zainab السلام, who when she saw the head of her brother mounted upon a spear, she hit her forehead on front of a pole until we saw blood coming out from under her veil. Furthermore, Imam al-Mahdi is reported to have said concerning his grandfather Imam Hussein السلام, I will therefore lament for you morning and evening and I will weep blood instead of tears out of my anguish for you and my sorrow for all that befell you. Different marajit have come to different conclusions as to whether the faithful should practice tatbir and zinjil. Therefore a person should refer to their marajit. For example, his eminence, the Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadiq Shirazi has stated, Bloodletting is halal and recommended as long as it does not lead to the death of a human being, the stopping of a body limb from working or the prevention of reproducing children. Whatever fatwa a person follows or whatever form of azadari a person performs, the main thing all Muslims should remember regardless of whether they agree or disagree with bloodletting is the importance of conducting ourselves in an honourable and dignified manner which represents the school of Ahlul Bayt السلام, in the best of ways. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make all of us adornments of Ahlul Bayt السلام, and help us to invite others to the sublime path.